Right, I just wanted to talk you through the wiring. Uh, as mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, this will uh, help you sort of wire it up. So the, um, the permanent live to the unit is here and here. Uh, and live is being fed uh, essentially from this uh, brown, obviously live feed from the, uh, the external plug, uh, the neutral, and then the earth. Um, this unit isn't actually earthed. Uh, but I'm earthing obviously the uh, the two plugs anyway. Um, so live goes through here. Um, I've done a uh, essentially a jump piece over here, so another brown wire to that, another brown wire over here. So effectively these terminals, all these terminals here are live. The live feed then gets sent over to the actual unit itself. Uh, the neutral feed again comes in here, over to this uh, socket. I've got another U piece under here which means that obviously this is live, and then another U piece over here, which is this is live. So you can see, uh, sorry, that's um, the, the neutral. So this is all circuited up and running. So the neutral will go over to here, and that powers obviously the unit itself. Uh, there's a brown lead coming from here, uh, and the brown lead from here is fed to one side of the heating element, and then the other brown side goes off obviously to the plug. And to complete the circuit, I go over to neutral over here, uh, which is being fed from neutral from the main socket. Uh, similar setup, I've got uh, live coming in here to the cool, and then I've got uh, essentially uh, the live of the socket uh, to the, the cool socket as well. And then neutral goes back over here. And then all the earths basically are fed through here. So it's a fairly simple wiring setup, but this is not described in the paperwork. So if you followed this circuit diagram here, that you see here, um, and didn't do this cabling that I've just described over here, the system wouldn't work and you probably would actually damage the unit if you didn't wire it up uh, in this uh, particular way. So I'm now going to have to disconnect all of this cabling, uh, certainly these, these feeds here, to allow me to obviously drill the box and then obviously uh, add the ports in. So uh, that will be the, uh, the step that I'll be doing now, which will just basically drill the ports, put some grommets in, and then obviously uh, set it all back up again. So I've now placed it in its box. Um, I've taken the back cover off. I'm going to leave that one off because uh, once the lid's on, it's going to be protected. Uh, the uh, unit is on, as you can see. It's still waiting to reach the, uh, the temperature to actually switch on the chiller. So again, if I heat it up, you can see the temperature will go up. So I've showed you it's on the chill cycle. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop the sensor into uh, some ice cubes, hopefully. There you'll see the temperature drop. Hopefully drop from the cooling cycle into the heat cycle. So 20 degrees is what I set it at. I've given it about a one degree fluctuation, I think. Theory. There you go, and there's the heating cycle on. Now take it out of the cold water. And 
coming out with my hand again. So you can adjust that set point. So it's now into cooling cycle, but it has to have that three minute shutdown. So I'm not going to wait for it to do that. So hopefully you've enjoyed that uh, little project. All I've got to do now is put the lid on, screw it up, and then that's my temperature controller for my beer cooler heater system ready to plug into the fridge.